beautiful people of the internet. So you might be looking at me and thinking, oh my god, what has happened to your face? And that's because I have no makeup on. And the reason why I have no makeup on today is because I'm gonna be trying. <laughs> I'm gonna try to laminate my eyebrows on my own. And the reason I'm gonna try and laminate my eyebrows on my own is because I am a fucking cheap ass. Like I I hate spending money <laughs> on things that I think I could do better at home. Even if I am completely and utterly wrong, I'm still gonna attempt it. And I don't know if you remember, but the last time I tried to do that, I failed miserably. <laughs> and it was probably because I had no idea what I was doing and I didn't read the instructions, which is pretty much what's gonna happen today. So the kit that I got is from Amazon and it looks like this. And if this fails, it's not necessarily their fault and the manufacturer's fault, it can 100% be my fault. But it looks really neat. I had to um, open it because I had to do a patch test. So do a patch test before you test any chemicals on your face. I put it on my wrist as well as behind my ears and I had no reaction at all. I never have any reactions. I'm not really allergic to many things. And this is what the kit looks like. And it comes with these little spoolies and little eye pads as well because you can do your brows as well as your eyelashes. You know how you have like an eyelash lift and tint. You can do that with this as well. And then it comes with all of the chemicals that you're gonna be slapping on your face with me today. So I'm just gonna read the instructions and it basically says you need to use the cleanser to remove the oil, dust and makeup residue and then apply the glue on the eyebrows. You then brush your eyebrows up and cover them with cling film for 10 minutes. So that's exactly what I am gonna do. I'm gonna zoom you in. <laughs> um, a little bit nervous, I'm not gonna lie. Ooh, so close, you can see all of my imperfections and my sins. Okay, so I'm gonna use this tiny little jar of cleanser and I'm just gonna put it on um, a cotton bud or a wet wipe, whatever you've got. Okay, so the next step is actually the step that, I <laughs> that I'm worried about, which is applying the glue and then just brushing your eyebrows up. Now, I don't have a big mirror in front of me. I do have a little mirror that I use to do my makeup with um so i'm just gonna i'm just gonna use that that's that's what we're gonna you can tell how incredibly incredibly responsible i am when it comes to my face like yeah sure i did a patch test it didn't burn so i'm just gonna go ahead and put all these chemicals on my face because why not why wouldn't i you only get one face you might as well just experiment with it so this is the glue very professional just like peels off right there Okay, so I'm just literally gonna apply it upwards like this and then take a little spoolie and brush it up. Okay, I don't, I don't hate it. I don't hate it at all. Okay, so I'm just gonna pop the cling film on for 10 minutes now. A few moments later. Okay, right, I'm peeling this one off and then I've got one more step I think where I'm gonna have to put the cling film on. Ooh. Oh, it's still wet. Am I doing it right? Okay, I'm just not gonna question it. Don't question the process, right? The next step is this fixation lotion and I need to put that on and then another 10 minute um, wait. I'm gonna put a little bit less of this on because I feel like I've just overdone it. <laughs> All right, I'll see you in 10. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna take this off and the next, well, the last step is taking off all of the residue with um, a cleanser. So that's what I'm gonna do. So I've got this little cleanser here and I'm just gonna pop a few drops onto um, a paper towel, which I know I'm probably supposed to be using cotton buds, but I don't use cotton buds and I am not about to like go out and buy a whole pack just to use like one. Okay, I've used like half a bottle, oops. Okay, I'm actually staying up. I'm, I'm, I'm actually surprised. <laughs> it just says to clean off all of the residue, like everything, off the eyebrow, and then just to put some 
nutrition liquid on them, which that's what I'm going to do in a minute. Okay, and then I'm going to take this little one that says nutrition on it. And I'm just going to do the exact same thing. Okay guys, and I think that's everything. So let me go and sort of do up my face a little bit so that I can see what it looks like in context <laughs> when I'm gonna have my makeup on and then I will tell you how I feel um, and if I think it's gonna last. And then in a couple of days time, I will update you guys as well to see if it did last and how long and sort of how my face feels and all that good stuff. So I will be right back. Good morning, hi, so it is the next day. Um, and I want to give you a little update on my eyebrows. Um, so, let me just zoom you in guys. They currently look like this. And now, when I woke up this morning, they did not look like this at all. Um, I'm going to insert some pictures to show you what they looked like. So I would say that they did start going down and like they did start going back to normal how they were however when i put my usual eyebrow gel on they were a lot easier to style and they actually stuck in place like they're stuck in place and it's been like a few hours where normally i would have to like sort of touch them up and uh, and brush them up a little bit so in a sense of making them easier to style it did do that but it definitely didn't do anything else <laughs> like they just they just fell so it's probably my fault i probably did something wrong but i don't know i'm probably just gonna get it done professionally apparently if you go to a professional and they use good products it's gonna stay like that for about eight weeks um so i think that's the option i'm gonna go for but for now i do think that it was a good thing that i tried it because it did make them easier for me to style and so it's easy for me to achieve this look that i wanted anyway with just my eyebrow gel like my normal eyebrow gel which normally doesn't happen normally it's not good enough just to use that so I am happy in that regard so yes thank you all for coming on this journey with me once again today and make sure to subscribe so you can see me filming a lot more beauty treatments that I'm going to be trying at home because for some reason this is just what I do I just I'm just too curious and too much of a cheap ass and like if I'm gonna pay for something done professionally for some reason I just have to try do it doing it myself first let's just hope i'm never gonna be like that with tattoos so yeah <laughs> but thank you all so much for watching me today i hope you have a wonderful day i'll see you in my next one which i'm gonna film right now so hopefully you don't mind the same outfit <laughs> have a lovely day i love you guys so much bye